close your eyes. Make sure you're in a comfortable position, either sitting or lying down. Somewhere quiet where you won't be disturbed. Somewhere you can feel safe and relaxed. But remember, you should not listen to this recording while driving or operating heavy machinery. Now, let's begin by taking a deep breath in. Feel your chest and your lungs fill with air as you feel a wave of relaxation wash over your entire body. Hold it. Now slowly exhale. As you take another deep breath, I want you to picture yourself in a beautiful forest. The leaves and the branches dance faintly in the breeze. Rays of sunlight peek through the forest canopy, warming the ground below. A long, slow, winding river weaves its way carelessly down through the forest. I want you to imagine yourself in the river. The clear water surrounds you. You submerse yourself completely, allowing all the sounds of the world to fade away into gentle relaxation. As you reemerge, you leave all your stress and fears behind you to be carried away with the current. Continue to breathe deeply, allowing yourself to relax more and more with every breath. You feel the energy of each and every tree flowing through your body as you walk between them. And as the positive energy of the forest passes through you, you feel all your negativity and bad energy fade away. Imagine birds gliding by carelessly in the sky above. You become one with them and all the other creatures of the forest as they impart a sense of carelessness onto you. Allow your breathing to become more natural as relaxation takes over completely, all the way from your toes and your shins, through your knees and your thighs. It surges up through your hips and your waist, moving calmly into your stomach and chest. You feel your fingertips tingle and your forearms rest heavy. It moves through your upper arms and your shoulders, into your back and your neck relaxing you deeply. It continues through your mouth and your nose, through to your eyes and your ears, all the way to the tip of your head. Now, as your body lies completely relaxed and your mind has quieted and wandered free, you feel like the first man or woman to ever walk the earth. You too have become an animal.
as I begin to count backwards from ten, I want you to picture yourself as that animal. Whatever it may be, I'm going to relax you even further. Even further than you ever thought possible as we begin to explore who you are, who you want to be, or what you want to achieve in your life. Ten. Up, dude. Let's take inventory of all the things you have in your life. Shit. Sorry. That's all good. What's up? More nightmares? Fucking pussy? <laughs> yeah, I was like a soldier in a war. I don't really remember. Nah, I can't even imagine that. I mean, I could take a life. I just prefer saving them. <laughs> okay. I don't know what my problem is. I just haven't been sleeping lately. Nah, it's the shift work, man. It fucks you up. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. Hear from Tracy yet? No, not yet. I think I'm gonna call her again. Yeah, it's all good. Two more hours. Shift's over till tomorrow. Yeah, never ends. Month old fitting on the north side. Let's go. Your night. Good. What'd you get up to? I told you I was going out with Tay. Alright. How was that? Fine. I'm just trying to finish something. Okay. How was your night? Uh, it was okay, I guess. Kind of slow. I listened to that relaxation tape you got me. Neat. Hey, um, how come you didn't answer any of my calls or texts? Babe? I understand with a 10 kilometer radius outside the, the area until the military arrives. You can see the military has been deployed uh, to patrol the impact zones. Uh, now, early, there have been earlier reports of a worldwide terrorist attack. Uh, we can, on a, again, this is the first time I'm seeing this. Uh, wow. So uh, we can say that this is not a terrorist attack. 
Uh, and we do believe that the origin of these objects may be from outer space. And again, I'm looking at this for the first time. What appears to be some kind of an alien craft or alien pods. Oh my God, there's three of them there. We have our uh, live reporter on the scene just outside the impact zone right now. It's Tom Rolston. Uh, Tom, can you tell us what you're seeing right now? Uh, Tom, I, it seems that we we're seeing, uh, or at least we're hearing some static, and uh, we can't hear you. Can you can you still hear us? Tom, 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 can you hear me? Are you all right? Oh, 
Shit, I've, I've never done treatment before. All right, assess the situation. Do your job. Who's got the best chance to survive, all right? Sarge. Okay, go. Johnson, you start CPR on the pilot. Help him out. Latvian, ain't you on the bank? You gotta move right now. Bro, what about my arm, man? What about my arm? Fuck. What's your name, man? Brian. Okay, Brian, are you hurt bad? I think I'm okay. Okay, I need to know if your shit's wrapped tight. Stick with us and don't do anything without calling it out. We need to set up a perimeter. You got it? Okay, let's go. Come on. Come on. Just give him something to bite down on or something. Too late. Move up! You're the right side. Contact front! Who do you see? Run out! Get up there! Three lines! Stay ahead! Not that. Good. We got movement on the right, too, over there. I hear him. What's he doing? Man, my arm, it's fucking killing me. I'm almost done here, just keep him stable. Go. Cover half field. Get on him, suppress the fire. Go. Cut my gun lamp. Down. Reload it. Move up, move this way! Move up, follow me! Get low! Go ahead over here! It's open! What do you see? 
I've got a pulse. Is he breathing? Yeah. Good, keep an eye on him. Just two more seconds. Moving left, moving left. Zip fire. Bring it up. Hands down. Point on him. Trooper, bring it up. What do you see, Lappy? What do you see? Gun moving to the left. Three units. What's your boys? What have a team shot from here? Shit. Cover him. Cover. Got a shot. Take it. Copy. Hey. Stand by to support the war officer. You guys cover me. Call it. Go. He's laying it down. Reloading. Lappy, how you doing, buddy? Left is clear. Roger that. How's the right? Eyes on the right. How's the right? Don't leave me hanging. Trooper, turn right. Switch right now. Move it up! You guys got anything over there? Talk to me! Clear on the left. Copy! I'll clear right! You guys okay? <laughs> oh yeah, what a treat. Oh man, my arm is bleeding real bad. All right, everybody stay low. Lappy, I need you to find the airman's tracking beacon and activate it. Go. There you go. Just keep an eye on the sergeant. Tell me if I need changes. Hey, are you okay? Screw my pants. Can I look at your head? Can I ask you a few questions? What year is it? 2015. Okay, what's your full name? Brian Keith Liza. Okay, who's the current Prime Minister? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, me neither. Just take your glasses off for a second. Okay, look into this. Follow my finger. All right. Here, you can put those back. Yeah, you're gonna be all right. Okay? Okay. Hey. 
Are you all right? Okay. Anybody else hear that? Anybody at all? Anybody, over. How you doing? Sorry, I passed out. <laughs> no shit, you fucker. Everyone's looking for you. Blast would have knocked out the containment field, so they'll be able to track it and we'll be susceptible. Hey. Evac on its way? Huh. No evac. What? There is no long range radios in this valley, and the MP blast took out the tracking beacon and the sat phones. So they don't even know if we're still alive. Right. Well, this is some weak ass shit. I'm not equipped for this kind of survival off. 
fucking forces, man. Well, your LCF is fucking tops, though. LCF? Look cool factor. Seriously, what the fuck is all this shit anyways? Oh, whatever, bra. It makes me look fierce. I gotta intimidate the squidlets, you know. Make them ink. Shit, I think I just did. Seriously, where the fuck did you find this shit pump? He's not that bad. He's a good laugh. It's still awaiting parts, though. Well, that's great. <clears throat> so what about the evac? Oh, it's getting pretty dark, and they're not gonna fly at night. It's too hairy. So what's the plan? First off, we gotta get off this beach. We're too exposed. Then we're gonna send a team up, out of the valley, try to make contact with the HQ. Then we just gotta stand by to stand by. But what about the Sarge? We can't move them far. We'll figure it out. But right now, we gotta get out of here before nightfall. This place is gonna be teeming with squids before the sun sets. What's up with him? A uh, few cuts and bruises, nothing serious. Uh, I don't think he has a concussion. Uh, shock, maybe? All right, Lappy, you take the kid up the valley, try to make contact with HQ. Radio when you're close, and we'll give you the grids. You copy? Roger, Dad. Outstanding. Doc, I need to make sure that McCusick's mobile. Johnson, help the doc out. We gotta move. Okay. Hey, let's move out. Radio check. How copy? Solid copy over. Coyote 2-3, requesting actual. Copy. Crow's Nest, this is Coyote 2-3. Do you copy? Over. Crow's Nest, this is Coyote 2-3. Requesting actual. Copy. Copy that, Coyote 2-3. This is Crow's Nest Actual. Requesting a rep. Over. I copy. We have a situation. So what'd you get? Um, chili and beans, you. Spaghetti and meatballs. Do you want to trade? No, man. Remember New Dayton? Yeah. 871, right? Yeah. They drop like 50 crates of chili and beans and nothing else. I had to eat that shit three times a day for a whole week. You know, we lost a guy. Private packet. Shot himself in the face. Jesus. Not because of the chili, though. No, man. I was there. It's because of the chili. Soldier bar. Hey -o. Nice. Hey, do you have a heating pad? Yeah, well, I have one though. You can use it after I'm done. Okay. You know, I think they should just give us like two dozen of these. It's got everything a growing boy needs. Lots of protein. And calories. Hey, Doc. Mm -hmm. You ever think about what the aliens eat? Not really. Or how they fuck? No. Oh, come on, man. Expand your fucking mind. You know, when you think about it, I bet those aliens get really good hand. All those little tentacles. Look in your balls. Uh, oh. Alright. Well, you're not gonna have yours? Nah. Well, can I have it? 
thought you were sick of chili and beans. I'm hungry. Hey, do you have a sat phone? Yeah, it's busted since the uh, EMP blast so. Can I have it? I might be able to use some of your parts to fix one. Yeah, sure. Thanks. Who are you gonna call? Uh, my wife. Ghostbusters, man, come on. <laughs> Sorry, long day. Where did Swedovich and Hatfield go? Hmm? Those seesaw guys are gone. What? Swedovich, Hatfield, do you copy? These things don't work when you need to talk to somebody. Fucking special forces, man. They think they're so much better than us. That fucking Swedovich is such a cock smoke. Yeah, well. Couldn't have gone far. Yeah, they wouldn't just leave us here, right? Well, their box is still here. They've been keeping that pretty close. Any idea what's in it? No. It's got to be important, though, the way they've been protecting it. Well, they're not here now. Why don't we uh, have a little look see? Uh, I don't know, man. You know what those symbols mean? Uh, nuclear? No, biohazard. Oh. Uh. You mean like needles and shit in the hospital? That's fucking rank, man. Yeah. It also says do not open. <laughs> well, that's terrifying. Roger that, Crow's Nest. Looking forward to seeing you boys soon. Coyote 2 3, out. Let's move out. Saint Vietnam. Oh, what the fuck, man. <sighs> God damn it. Where the fuck are you guys? We're just checking something out. You can let us know. Your mission is to provide escort and fire support for CSOR team members until we reach Brigade 42 FOB Crow's Nest. Until which time, you will be relieved of duty until further instruction. If I or Warrant Officer Hatfield open our mouths and you happen to hear words come out of them, consider it a privilege. I'm just saying maybe it's not the best time to split up right now. There's something out there watching us. What if we got attacked? What? Is that what you wanted to happen? Use this as bait or something? Listen, we've done this before. How many times have you been in the field? You probably think bright lights Loud noises are the best defense against these things. Listen, just don't talk about tactics with me, all right? You two are uh, fucking virgins in a whorehouse. All I know is that using the only backup you have as bait is fucked. Seriously, do you think we'd risk our only medic in a time like this? Chances are we're gonna need you again. Fine, I think we deserve a little more information then. Like with the box, what's in it? Classified. 
Fuck that. Is it a bomb, a weapon, something we need to worry about? All you need to know is that we have it and the aliens want it. And we do not want that. Do not fuck with this. us. Pierre? Slappy. Up here, what's your position? Give me a grid over. Up here, how copy over? Retransmit last message over. If he's alive, he'll make it back. Liza, did you make contact? Yeah. They're gonna send an evac at first light. They're gonna shell the hills and try to try to keep them off our position. Coordinates? What? Is that a bad thing? We got. That's not gonna keep them at bay. This is gonna funnel them down from the hills. Right onto our position. Fucking Fobbits, man. LaPierre, if you read, return to base immediately. Grid DA46. Over. Did they give you a time? I don't know when. LaPierre, copy. Over. Doc. Liza? Is that you? Holy shit. I'm a 
almost fucking shot you, man. What's with the gas mask? Sex against biological warfare. Um, okay. I'll just keep an eye on it, alright, man? We gotta get him down. What's happening? Take cover! The cherry was a target. I was trying to conceal myself to avoid the detection, man. Don't shit on my chest and call it a tuxedo. Man, I'm going crazy out here. I need to get out of this place. Oh, you're going crazy. I'm fucking going crazy. What the fuck is the matter with you? You think you got somewhere to go to survive? Somewhere you can hide? Somewhere you can be safe? This is their world now. And you've got to fucking pull your shit together and start believing that. Because that's the only way we're going to be able to operate and engage them. Do you fucking copy? Get that secondhand piece of shit off your face, Trooper. We need to protect ourselves against their pheromones. What did you say? I overheard you and Hatfield talking about the effect of the pheromones on humans. I don't know what you're talking about. But I need you to be operating at maximum efficiency. Now take that fucking gas mask off. It's just a scout. Probably more. More? Like, how many more? Johnson, I don't want to see your face for the rest of the mission, okay?
They're gonna be confused for a while. We've got to redeploy right now. Johnson, I'll meet with the sergeant. Leave him. He'll slow us down. We can't just leave him here. They'll kill him. What? You think leaving him here will buy us some time? You talk about being soldiers, what's the point if we can't show some fucking compassion to one of our own? Duck. Yeah, Sarge. Uh. Uh. Sergeant? Can't save everyone, Doc. Grab your gear. Johnson, grab the box. Let's move. Sorry, sorry. Thanks, Doc. This thing is heavy, man. What do you guys got in here anyway? Alien dicks. Hundreds of them. We're doing a study on the alien reproductive system. And it's crucial we get those dicks. Mike's gentlemen. Tracy? Greg? Yeah, it's me. It feels so good to hear your voice right now. Who is it? Who is that? It's no one. Where are you? I don't know. Our chopper went down. I... Tracy, how'd it go? Tracy, what's going on? Tracy, talk to me. I, I, ha I have to go. No, I... Tracy, I just need to tell you that I'm sorry. I... I'm sorry for the way we turned out. I'm sorry I'm not there with you right now. I... I'm scared, Tracy. I, I don't know what's gonna happen to us out here. I, I just need to hear that you'll wait for me. I need to hear that you still love me. Come on, honey, we gotta go. T Tracy? buy some time, we should move. Keep your head down! Put it down! Go! 
on the right. He's on the right. You stick with the box. Anybody see anything? We got a visual. No, nothing. No Over here! Fuck. You gotta help me, man. Help you with what? This thing. It's the key to saving us. To saving everyone. What is that thing? Look, you gotta trust me, man. I overheard them talking. It's not what they'll tell you it is. The evac isn't for us. It's for this. Put the system down. You have no idea what you're holding. I do. They communicated with you? Yes. You were there. And you. Where? You were there too. At Omega Day. You two were there on Omega Day when the ship crashed into the ocean. You killed them. What's he talking about? I have no idea. Don't move. Whoa. Nobody moves until we sort this out. Why would he make something like this up? I don't know. This is all very sensitive shit we're dealing with here. Fuck it. What is that thing? It's their mind. Yes. And we need to give it back to them. No. We need to keep it intact and secure it at HQ. No. If we give it back, They'll let us go. Johnson, give it to me until we sort this out. I can't authorize that, Doc. It's already compromised Johnson, and I will not let it happen to my only medic. They were there. 
The, the aliens weren't the ones that were hostile. We were. They killed them. We wanted their weapons and their tech. Oh, ah, ah. Day. Johnson was telling the truth. The truth? Is that what you saw? Yes. And you believed it? I don't know. You want to know what I saw when I first touched it? Don't come any closer. I saw my fucking death. I saw my fucking life end at the hands of one of those fucks. The last thing I saw was my face, reflecting in its eyes before it crushed the life out of me. Was that the truth? Maybe. You want to know what that thing is that you're holding? It's a psychic database. It affects the behavior and communication of the alien specimens. It telepathically organizes and coordinates complex activities. What are you gonna let him finger fuck it now that you're telling his entire life fucking story? What he's trying to articulate is that it's dangerous. It has an effect on the human mind at a level we can't understand. But to us, it's a key to their tactical and technological secrets. If we have it, we control it. If we had control, why'd we have to leave McCusick behind? Why couldn't we use this thing to get the aliens to do what we want? You knew what was gonna happen to him, brain or no brain. We didn't have to leave him to die. It was a tough call, sure. You made the wrong one. Nobody chose this. Nobody chose to have those things come down to our planet and destroy everything you'd loved and cherished. They took everything. When they came and ripped apart everything you'd loved, when the forces found you in whatever piece of shithole they found you and taught you how to be a soldier, there was no choice, no control, no fate in this world anymore. Only sacrifice. Then why don't you just give up and kill yourself? We have hope. We're out here fighting right now because we do have choice. You need to start taking responsibility for your actions. I know you still believe that. You're just making excuses for all the bullshit you've done in your life. Like leaving the sergeant. Do me. Is that what you fucking want? Do me! Do me! Sweaty? Showed me my wife. The war was over, we were happy. It lied.
Everybody follow me. Gotta move. Now! How's it going, Doc? Not bad. Ready for this to be over with. No doubt, man. This shit's hard. Yeah, I know. And I know you didn't choose this life like I I chose this so people like you didn't have to. Plus, my parents told me to pay rent or get out. The point is, I stuck with it, though. And when all this shit is over and done with, and I'm still doing what I do, people like you can go home. It'll work out. You're a good kid. Just keep your powder dry. I got your six. Well, I guess we should stop sucking each other's dicks and get this Charlie Foxtrot on the road. What do you say? Sounds good. Old doc. I'm good.
is here. This place is gonna be swarming with squids. But they haven't found us yet. Where's the LZ? Best bet is beyond those trees right over there. The sun's gonna be coming up in about 20 mics. So are our choppers. Well, what are we waiting for? Don't let him get around, man. Oh. Ah! 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 
Wait. Oh. Wait. 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 This is one of those choices, man. I've got to make it for myself. Alfield, take him out, man! Go! Go, Doc! Go! Oh, fuck it! Oh, go! Go! Just move it! Move. Go! Go! Fuck! Two up here! Doc, you're moving in on the right, moving in on the right. You look over there, Doc. That's your job, Doc. You keep on it. I'm moving up, all right? No! Hunter, hold the picket! Thank mm -hmm. you.